is supposed to be December 12th, and let's talk about 25 days of Christmas. Uh, this is usually the part where me, Papa, and Gindy talk about our experience with the movie, just talk about things in the intro. Problem is, I don't have the intro where I thought I did, but the files are the exact same when I was trying to edit this at like 2 in the morning. Um, yeah, this is very, this is kind of embarrassing since this has happened twice now that I lost the intro. This time it's not my fault, I think. Well, it is my fault, but. I'm in the, I was in the middle of a, of a move while downloading these, and you could just say, like, oh, why don't you just download it again? They are on every day, do it after seven days. I cannot change that. It's how the recording bot works. I tried to look into the other recording bots, but none of them work like this. None of them work as good, so. Unfortunately, I have no intro for this episode, except for me talking now. Um. As you can probably imagine, doing this has been very, very stressful and very time consuming to edit and to export these and to upload them and make sure they're coming out on the days that they come out. Um, so, in the midst of things, things are going to get lost in the shuffle. So, I very much apologize for the intro being lost. And, um, I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the episode. The episode that is. Tonight, I'll be reviewing Home Alone 5. <gasps> we left Kevin home alone, and he's only 23! Ah! We're back from watching the movie. Kevin! You spent 970 hours watching this movie? Wait, what? <laughs> it's a long um, movie. Uh. I didn't like it. Hey, if you ask me. Home Alone 2 has a lot of good improvements over the original. Yeah, even well, I don't like it. <laughs> don't know, even if rehash-y. the director said he wrote it in a weekend. It's too rehashy for the first movie. Oh, come I on. Really like I, really like the, I didn't really like the first movie in the first place, so like... Hey, Tim Curry made Home Alone 2. Not really. He wasn't the director. He was okay. He didn't make this movie. Be honest. One, Gendy, one, one man cannot make a movie. One man cannot make a movie, Kendi. Wait. Yes, I can. You've you seen The Room, haven't you? Well, no, he had actors. That's not just one guy sitting out in a room. He's like, yeah. Hello. He called them actors. Mm-hmm. They're vote for his volunteers. Uh, well, he did with other people, you know? Well, you know? I did see this one short film animated by two people. Nah, but that's not one. So, yeah. And that's, that's not a full not, movie. I yet, didn't it's theaters. mean. I did not mean that sort of one person made it. I meant as if a person made it special. So what would, what would you do? Curry is a good actor. Understand me? I'm no. seeing some, like, internal rage here. <laughs> like, like, not Kit with Dumbo 2019, but kind of... Pop just turns into a marriage counselor. I'm sensing some serious tension between you. You really need to just talk it out. Want to look at some of the you trivia? Did the Fun fact: Macaulay Culkin was paid 4.5 million dollars to star in Home Alone 2, the biggest salary to ever be given to an 11-year-old child actor. Probably got it. Uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, it was 1992. Maybe he got a really, a really good Sega collection or a Super Nintendo collection. I'll take a Sega collection. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's got like Michael Jackson's Moonwalker or Columns. Oh, we don't talk about Michael Jackson. I meant I like the game, it. not the act. Oh, oh okay. I like when um, Gendy mentioned the Sega Poppy went. It's like I can't believe breathing. The pigeon attack sequence actually had Dave Daniel Stern covered in real bird seed and had about 300 pigeons attack him. That's 
a lot of doo-doo. After one scene, Macaulay Culkin asked Joe Pesci why he never smiled, and Pesci said this to him, would often tell him to shut up. But at one point, he also said, He's pampered by a lot of people, but not me, and I think he likes that. This is mean. All the, all the children who appeared in the Toy Store scene were allowed to take their favorite toy home as part of their salary. Ooh. Even though it didn't work, Macaulay Culkin was allowed to keep the talk boy. I feel like, I feel like they were the sponsor or something. The talk yeah, boy, like, they made that thing. That was, that was um, made after the movie. Like, it was like, the, the, this movie, basically it was just so that. Like, that's why, that's why he, holds, he holds it up to the camera and shows off what it does right at the beginning and holds it up to the camera and has a smug little look on his face like it's a freaking commercial. Hey, at least it's better than the actual Talk Boy commercial. Hi, kids, we're home early. <laughs> I'll never be over it. I'll never be over how Trump and Home Alone 2 looks like he's wearing his dad's clothes because they're like too weight, looks like way too big for him. Wasn't it true that, like, Donald Trump didn't want to be paid for his appearance and was like, It's I'm my hotel. Sure. I, I, I'll take, I'll do it for free. I don't know. Sure. I don't look into the extensive board of Home Alone 2. <laughs> so you're saying Donald Trump is part, is part of the Home Alone Cinematic Universe? Yeah. In the original Home Alone, the movie that Kevin watches is called Angels with Filthy Souls, but in the sequel, it's called Angels with Even Filthier Souls. Because it's the sequel. <laughs> I think I get the joke. It's just, yeah, that, the other movie is just a rehash of the original, like, sequel was. Catherine O'Hara was so worried that her character didn't try hard enough to find Kevin where she would actually practice a sad face just to make sure at home. <laughs> we're lucky we don't have like a massive fan base because we're just ripping, just ripping at home too so, so much. I don't like home. Hey, home. hey to be fair, over. hot take, hot take coming. I don't like Home Alone. To me, it's overrated. Said overrated. In recent years, people, with people, people like the Nostalgia Critic, a lot of people riff on Home Alone 2. No, okay. If you take away the ending of Home Alone, there's nothing about it that I really like. It's just, I don't like it. I don't even like the ending. Like, what I meant by that was um, people talk about the ending too much, rather than the actual movie. <laughs> the ending part, like with the burglars. The... the um... <laughs> Plus the vines kind of makes you uncomfortable, <laughs> like when that happened to me. <laughs> you know. What? Oh yeah, you want to know what? Uh, you want to know everything on the room service bill that uh Kevin got? No, I want to know no. what Pop meant. What? Wait, what did you say, Pop? All the violent, all this, all the violent things. <laughs> oh, the vine. I think I said something about like a vine or something. I'm like, what the heck? I don't know. What? All right, the then. Vine? Yeah. Brick okay, vine. so. On the no, bill, like there were <laughs> two chocolate cakes, six chocolate mousses with chocolate vanilla and strawberry ice cream topped with M&Ms, chocolate sprinkles, cherries, nuts, marshmallows, caramel syrup, chocolate syrup, strawberry syrup, whipped cream, ban and bananas, six custard flans, a pastry cart, eight strawberry tarts, and 36 chocolate-covered strawberries. Oh my god, how is Kevin not dead? He's going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> All on three, Kevin dies. <laughs> just called... Lost... <laughs> lost in the emergency room. <laughs> hey, hey, at least it's better than the actual Home Alone 3 we got, which we Everything's luckily... Better than Home Alone 3, Gendy? We luckily don't have to cover Home Alone 3 because that's not, not a Christmas year. movie. But it's not like a Christmas movie! I like, I like how we're a 2000s themed podcast, but we only do the ones that came out in the 90s. We don't do the, we don't do the 2000s Home Alone movies. That did not nostalgic. We're doing a... Plus, isn't part of the... We only have a few... 
<laughs> Most of these are like 90s or 80s. We got like, oh, oh, oh no. Well, hey. they're nostalgic for 2000. People watch these in the 2000s. Exactly. So, I was going to say nice. people were like getting hand-me-down VHSs and having to watch TV recordings, you know? Uh, well, next week we got, or tomorrow we got Jingle All the Way, so. Ooh, that's a fun one. I've seen that in forever. You know, the, the the toy in Jingle All the Way actually became a really rare, hard-to-find toy that still yeah. goes up for hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I, well, I see them. I have some stuff, I have stuff to say about it, but I should save that for a trial. Woman, save that for a while. Uh, uh, around like <laughs> I started to get really bored watching Home Alone 2, honestly. I really, I... I got bored with the first one, and then, and then we watched this one, and I was like, oh. I was dreading it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> hey, you want to know what the French guy was saying to Kevin when he was on the plane to, uh... Oh, dear God. He's probably like, no. he's probably like I I'm sorry about this in advance. He's like, ho, 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 I have French, ho, ho, baguettes and crumpets. Uh, cr it no, actually crumpets is British. <laughs> crumpets. Oh, yeah, I knew that didn't sound right. All right, well, actually, it, it's cheese. <laughs> oh yeah, snails and snails. Yeah, Don't forget the name. That's escargot. It's Gary. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a meow. <laughs> why I were the, it, Why were the snails and SpongeBob just cats? I painted an S on the side of my I painted an S on the side of my car so when I drive down the street people are like, look at that S cargo. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long laugh. Okay, so here's what, <laughs> here's what the Frenchman was saying. <laughs> what? What's that? What's I'm that? from France. I'm a tourist here. It's my first time coming to America. Do you know a good restaurant? Maybe your parents, they know a good place. Why aren't you responding? You speak a bit of French, right? I don't speak English at all. Give me a bit of help at least. My name's Andre. What's your name? Lore. So yes. the French yeah, man is Andre. Well, good for Andre. 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 I, I, hope, I hope he finds an English to, uh, wait, no, French to English dictionary one day. I have an English to Japanese dictionary. Good for you. My library was giving out some of the old, withered books they didn't want anymore. My library, before, you know, they shut down because of, you know, the corn virus, um, they would, they, they would sell VHS tapes, and, like, they have, like, this little room where they sell, like, old books and DVDs and VHS tapes that I wanted to do. They never been good at any, anyway. they never had anything good, but, you know, I could have checked. Hey, I've, I've, I bought the Rugrats Go Wild from the, uh, from the library, I think. My library, my library still has a PS2 game. What? Wait, your library had games? My library always had games. The library I go to, occasionally they'll bring the Wii out, but other than that, no other oh, games. Yeah. <laughs> They're breaking out the my, Wii, my, boys. My, my, mine has, you can get, um, you can rent Xenoblade for, for, for Switch. Oh, that library is growing so up. cool. Growing up, my library was just a DVD place with books. DVD place. I mean, ours had it where you could rent DVDs. That's how I watched a good chunk of anime during my anime days. Yeah, pretty recently I watched My Neighbor Totoro from the library. Well, not recently, because, you know, again, corn virus. But, um, sorry. I watched My Neighbor Totoro for the first time because I rented it from the library, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, though there was always some kid playing Roblox at the library. Or some kid playing Minecraft. My library had like this room for like kids. Like it was like it was like a whole. It's like well, they still have it obviously. It's like a section. It's basically for like kids and like a lot of kids' books and stuff. Um, like big, like preschool kids, and they had like these computers set up and they're really like not cool, but like they had like little games on them and stuff like that. It was, I like oh, yeah. nostalgic. <laughs> like, uh, like, like we were looking back on it, I have like a lot of just like a lot of memories there. The library we used to go to. Li li library we used to go to a lot. Uh, well, it's, it's the main library for the entire county. It's like really, really big. But like a second room of everything. And so yeah, ours is like, like two stories. The whole, the 
whole stairs is like a kid section, <laughs> which is really nicely decorated. Ours is two story. It's it's pretty big. Four story. Our library had to close for a while, and because of that, the anime club went defunct. No, oh, the anime club. Uh, how are we gonna how are we gonna talk about Core in the house? Are we gonna go if you heard? Yeah, a thing with this. To be fair, the club was getting kind of lacking because some of the older members kept having to, like, move out for college and things. Plus, our old leader, who was, like, passionate about anime, got replaced with someone who, uh, didn't quite know as much about it. Like, the whole okay. thing was new to her. She's what like... Are you doing? What are you doing in the anime club? Like, honestly, like, like, like legit, what, what do you do? Do you, like, just discuss <laughs> anime? Do you, like... Like do something. I, 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 this is a genuine question. What do you? What did you do? Well, we watched anime shows that I kept on my hard drive. We would play Yu-Gi-Oh or Bakugan. We would. There'd always be this one kid playing League of Legends on his laptop. Great Shadow Legends. Freaking weed, bro. We we had like this idea for a manga where we would all be different characters in it, but it fell through. Oof. We even would do, like, oh. little cosplays and things, where we'd have people, like, showing off their cosplay, the little cat ears, or the, or the, like, ash hat. Or an ash hat. So, I'm so nerdy. Yeah. Heck, sometimes I would even bring, like, Pokemon figures, or, like, this one figure of Levi from Attack on Titan. Ooh. All the girls in the club loved Attack on Titan, and Fruits Basket, and Hitalia, and a bunch of those other shows that would, like, appeal to the girls in the club. How Yuri on Ice. Game? What? Oh, by the way, I, oh yeah, uh, it's a Home Alone 2 is my favorite anime. I have the, I have the Home Alone um, 2 game on a, on one of those, uh, Chinese bootleg GBA cartridges. Dude, okay. nice. I think you have the same one, I'm not sure, but Home Alone oh, yeah, 2 is yeah. on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, the 3, 6, 9, and 1. Yeah. You're gonna get arrested now. Way to but go. It... Oh, come on. It's the Game Boy Advance. What? What company <laughs> cares about an old game system that they don't even produce anymore? And Do we you care not about... know Nintendo? I'm very sorry about that. Um, Nintendo, 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 literally just well, well, as as of the recording, like they they they, took, they, took, they gave a, they gave a cease and desist for people having a smash a, a smash tournament just because they were using emulators. Uh, Nintendo, it's getting harder and harder to be one of here. your fanboys. <laughs> What was that? Yep. That was me coming out of the closet again. Literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, kids in a closet right now. Well, not now. I just came out of it. Because, oh my god, it's really cold out here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I need food. I got... A lot of a lot <laughs> of YouTubers right. record in the closet because it's good for the echo. Yeah. Oh, they want to echo in your video. I want to sound no, good. no, I mean like acoustics, you know, like so it doesn't like have echo. Are Chinese? But ac acoustics, you know, like in Can a guitar. Talk? What's what sticks? Wait, they put sticks in guitars? No. That's a violin. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining the villain from Samurai Jack on, on like a little, on his head like a little stick. Acoustic? <laughs> No, no, like, it's something voice actors tell you all about. Your your acoustics are all off. Um, your mic keeps speaking, like, you know. They make, like, uh, special sealant that you can, like, put soundproof walling over your wall. God, it's cold. It's called <laughs> acoustical sealant. Hmm. Yeah, well... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get ramen. You can't just cook ramen in the middle of the pot yet. I'm hungry. Why do you hate me? Where's our bowls? 
he just makes it in the middle. He just forgets we're, we're recording. I don't like Home Alone. Why would I talk about Home Alone if I don't want to talk about I don't like Home Alone too. McDonald's <laughs> made Happy Meal commercials themed around Home Alone 2 after the Batman Returns line ain't, didn't work out. We ain't got any bowls on pulls and Tupperware out of the dishwasher. So yeah. I should turn the sink up more. It's taking forever to turn up to the left. Come on. What the heck? <laughs> I searched Home Alone on YouTube, right? This is Home Alone, full movie, recreated by Kids Funhouse TV. It what? starts with, it starts with like a son going, I made my family disappear. And then it just cuts, cuts to the Grinch trying to break into the house. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. What the heck? Oh. Did you know that Fuller is actually played by Macaulay Culkin's younger brother, Kieran? Who names your kid Kieran? I just offended someone out there named Kieran. <laughs> the, Grinch, the Grinch just pulls up in a, in a... in a blue... in a blue truck. And the kid holds a Nerf gun inside the house. <laughs> That's Gundy. Oh god. Oh, huh. wait, well, I'm, wait, I'm heating up the water without putting the noodles in it. Wait a minute. You, wait, you're, not, you're, wait, you're supposed to. You, did you know you're supposed to heat up the water and put the noodles in? I'm not waving it, because that's how everyone does it. You know, you're, uh, you're supposed to do it, supposed to do it with the stove, but our stove is like. Our, our stove is covered with stuff right now because we're like. Hey, hey. Literally in the middle of moving, so. You know those, you know those little to Totino's crispy crust pizzas? Little pizza rolls? No, no, like no. the pizzas. They, they're square. You put them in the oven. It's crinkly. I put them in the microwave. Alright, I'm gonna try something real quick. Like, 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 like be recorded in live at the same time. I'm just going to take a strip bite out of this, of the, just the block that you get in these things. Oh no. That's actually oh, not bad, oh my god. I didn't see it raw. Huh. It's really good. A 12-year-old 12, a 12 no, kid wrote his own Home Alone sequel called Home Alone 2 Lost in Disney World. <laughs> I like that crunch is so uncomfortable. <laughs> you're trying to talk about Home Alone 2 and you're just, you know. Oh, you mean this? <laughs> oh, 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 what one? Oh, God. Kids script. The uh, director for Home Alone actually would like to... One of the people who worked at Disney sent him a thing saying, a thing. Believe in yourself, have patience, and always follow your heart. Man, this is really good. Yeah. Which allowed well. this 12 year old kid to become a. to pursue film. A man what by the name mean? of Greg Sestero. <laughs> Who is that? He played Mark in the room. Well, I don't know the room. I, I'm not. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't room. like saying. I wasn't like saying that to be mean. It's just. <gasps> you mock me. Where's our forks? That's a spoon. Let's <laughs> here. Tired, and then he goes to be in the room. Man, all right, all right. I should, I should eat raw. Okay. Unless people wanting him to crunch and completely on call this or completely on this podcast, I would have ate that raw. I'm not kidding. That is. If you have one of the Maruchan ramen noodle soups, the chicken flavor one. That is really good. I'm not gonna lie, that is really good. Actually, this is gonna sound disgusting, but we have shrimp ones that I grabbed a while ago because you know the flavor packets is separate. I wonder if that's hmm. Okay, wow. so do we have you <gasps> we do. Okay, okay, so you you take a bite, right? Of the um the ramen the ramen uh square. Because it's covered then in you, dust. Then you snort some of the flavoring. And that's yeah, ideal. Yeah, but When does this thing expire? It's oh, that's like good. It says like best four. by month, month, day, day, YY. <laughs> that's that's like, good. It's just like 4 a.m. Oh, and 825 20. Dang it, sorry, It's like 4 a.m. I turn on the kitchen light and kids just sit, uh, sitting on the counter just with like several um, rappers from um, 
ramen. <laughs> it's good. Don't diss it until you try it, man. It's it's, it's good. Hey, hey. <laughs> Maybe we can get the ASMR crowd up on it. Up on it. Oh, this is way get too much water. Let me dump out some of this water. This is like... Man, that's better. <laughs> this episode is chaos. I love it. Oh, you don't like the sound of me chewing raw? Uh, man, that would have been perfect chocolate for too, the anime I'm thirsty. club. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The anime club actually held an anime convention where one of the things we served was ramen. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna do it with my next quick cup because this thing is huge, but even though it's plastic, it'll, it'll be fine. People it's not made fine, like you know, little that recorded, so. They made, like, little octopi out of, like, sausage or something to put on yeah, top had, of it. Yeah, I had that at school. We, um, we, we ate fake, we ate, like, fake sushi. It was, it was a squid. Now that I think of it, I work? think they might have put it in, in a Happy Hot Dog Man thing. <laughs> because it was, like, a, it was just, like, it was just a Happy Hot Dog Man, but in it, they said it was a squid. It was a I hot dog. And then we, <laughs> he'd be grooving. <laughs> No one's gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Hey, people get the Hoppy Hot Dog Man because that's on uh, the the internet no, commercial thing. No, they're not gonna get. They're not gonna get the <laughs> the Ian's grooving thing. I guess. I, okay, should I explain it? I'm gonna explain it. It was with that one Do guy. He's like, oh, I want the inspiration. So me and Pop at like really late. We were watching commercials together. <laughs> he was like really tired. And there was a there was a part of the commercial where the hot dog man like grooves around, and he said, "I want that hot dog man as a gift. He's he's grooving. He be grooving. Grooving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. That's my fork. I swear to God, no. Who are you asking? I swear to God. I'm asking the lovely viewers at home or wherever they are. Where's our so I'm, our put up since? I never put up Christmas lights, and they're very yellow. Key lights. Sim Simpsons? Question mark. SpongeBob. Big Bird. I just, I just have a, I just have like a square of noodle. Man, why is it so many? Why is it that so many marketable characters are yellow? Yeah, what a yellow, what a yellow, what a yellow thing for so long. You, can, you got, color. you got, the Simpsons. SpongeBob, the Simpsons. Uh, the, let me Pikachu. Think. Your, your grandpa, your grandpa pe peeing at two a.m. You know. Oh, the Minions. Oh God. They were on, hot, hot, um, not hot, obviously not hot take. And when this is first despicable me is good. Imagine if Illumination actually tried for the movies. Imagine what would happen. Here we go into Guinea talking about the Lorax. Uh, I'll save that for when we review an Illumination movie. Oh, come on, open the packet. There uh -huh. we go. Big Ring should have been in the soundtrack. I said it. <laughs> it's better than how bad can I possibly be in every conceivable way. Illumination, get over yourself. Give us the edgy version of the Onesler we want. Onesler's um, hot, anyways. Um, now that you got that right out, now. you better, you better, <laughs> you better pour that on that, pour that on that, that ramen square. Already, I already got my ramen all made here, so now it's not Man. crunchy. This is oh god, I just it. splashed some of that hot water on my wrist, that hurt. Oh god, I'm dying. Wow, you kept the PG rating with that sort of, uh, tension. Okay, so, right, okay, you make... You make ramen, you make oh, ramen, right? Good. You strain all the liquid out, you let it kind of dry, then make a burger. You take it and put it in between the bread as a burger, and then you have a ramen burger. I, mm, it's actually I, not a bad idea. I mean, well, yeah, we don't. I have. I, 
doing ramen burgers where they you use know, the ramen I, I, There's probably a microwave in the background of my audio right now. I we honestly got now I want to try that. I want to try <laughs> I want to try a ramen square on burger bun. That sounds like a really good. It's like I want to. Oh God! We had more ramen. We gotta make try a that. We gotta make a royalty free version of uh, spaghetti tacos for my curly. Are spaghetti tacos good? I want to try it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've tried it like once, like forever ago. Wait, oh, um, we gotta just... record. We gotta record. Start recording for like our like when we do actual episodes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a suggestion moving, on Twitter. So. We've had a Ooh. suggestion on Twitter for our first episode, and I think what it's is it? a great one. Should we just spoil it right now on the podcast right here, right now? Do it. Uh, no, no. Ch- text it in the group, and uh, I'll give a vague hint. Okay. It was. It was. It was um, suggested by Jeff. Jeff. Uh, well, Jeff I am not the, mad the, at that request. The, the same person, Jeff Lozo, yeah. Same person I shouted out in Arthur Christmas. Hello again. He's our only Jeff. fan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. He's a passionate man. He's going to get us the recognition we deserve. Hopefully. Please, please share this video, please, man. Please get, get get your grandma out there. Like, I don't know, play this while you're uh, doing the dishes. Find your local hobo. Find your local hobo and just just tell him about it. You know, just kind of vibe with him. You all have a vibe with the hobo. Put put it on the smart TV at your local coffee shop. What co- what kind of coffee shop can afford a smart TV? Hey hey, I've been to co- I've been to a coffee shop that's got a Roku TV. Oh, yeah, you know what? I've had Roku's. F- f- y- 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 y'all are y'all are y'all are fancy, huh? I live I live near Seattle. I- <laughs> I haven't not seen one of those before. I live near Seattle. Literally, I. You know what's weird? Where I live, you can see coffee shops literally on every corner. I live probably about. I live about a <laughs> half hour to forty minutes from Seattle. I went. To, I've gone to Seattle like two or three times. Literally, saw like two Starbucks. Uh, cool. There's a Starbucks like literally. I counted. I went on Google Photo. I went on Google Maps and I looked up Get Starbucks and I counted within a five mile radius. Do you know how many there are of my um, house? There are like 15. There are 15 Starbucks within a five mile radius on my house. And you know when I went to Seattle, that I saw like two, and one of them was the first one. So, so someone go, someone goes and finds a cluster of 15 and just finds your location. Just anywhere in Washington. Yeah, like, in, I mean, in Seattle there was a ton of coffee houses, but not a lot of Starbucks. Like there was like little to no Starbucks. A Dollar General in Georgia, they're everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about what you guys are. There was a ma- there was a map that was released recent, kind of recent. Oh, there's my other fork. It was buried behind the bag. <laughs> um, there was a map that was re- released. <clears throat> it said In Now Burger was like the favorite restaurant of Washington. I'm like, we don't even have one in Washington. <laughs> I have never seen one. So, yeah. I forget what Georgia's is. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm a dox. My, I'm a I'm a dox myself. But here, um, <laughs> I live well, in Kentucky, not, right? And I don't. And like, I hate KFC. It's not like we're saying like your address, just address, you know. Yeah, it's Two two one five West Chesterfield like... Street. <laughs> Very. Look up that address. It's in look up the Springfield address for two two point one five West Chesterfield Street. And you'll be pleasantly surprised with what you find. You won't regret it. It's not a wreck roll. You can pass that now for my ramen. Not for the ramen, but you have to have with the ramen. Yeah, I yeah. Hope there's a street, I hope there's a street called um like give like give like never gonna give you up or like wreck roll, so you can just send people to that address to that street. <laughs> Um, when I was in Oregon with a person that we both you know, I'm going to say their name because I don't know what they want me to call them on this. But, you know, when I was with them in Oregon, we found Flanders Street, which was uh, weird because Matt Groening, um, the creator of Simpsons, he grew up in or- Portland, Oregon, that area. And he named them the characters after certain streets. And we, we were just walking to the bus stop and I like looked at the sign and he's like, oh, look, Flanders Street. I'm like, oh my God. And I explained that to him and we took a picture with it because it's, you know, it's cool. Okay, Kit. 
Hello. I have. Wait. You have this Lego minifigure, right? Yeah. I gotta show him to you. <laughs> because. He. If you take the parts for him, it would make a really good SpongeBob musical SpongeBob. Ooh. For context, I love SpongeBob musical. Ah! I just spilled the right hot chocolate on the cup! Oh, now it's gonna be all sticky and we don't have any paper towel. Oh, oh god. Oh, that's delicious yeah. stuff. Okay. Oh, we have napkins. <laughs> Here you go. Take the parts from him. Like, his hair and his pants. Kinda, yeah. I can see it. You got people watching public fan. <laughs> I don't wanna get that in, man. Okay. Yeah. What, what is it? What, what, what character is that? I don't know what character that is. I don't know, it's some DC character. I no, have no clue who he is. Alright, well he kinda looks like Wolverine, but he has like a blue mask, he's like really yellow spiky hair, his pants are yellow and plaid, he has like a like a vest on that's like a like, like looks like it has a bunch of pockets. What is he keeping in those pockets? Who knows? Probably something Thank suspicious. You. He has blue gloves. And... Oh, what was the number on Chesterfield Street? 2215 West Chesterfield Street. Jeez. Springfield something. 145? No, 2215. Or Two, yeah, two two five West, West Chesterfield Street. That is the canon. That is the canon address for Kid Family Video. Not that you guys know what that is yet. Well, I mean, I have that commercial, but that's just the start of stuff I do not have planned yet. I will probably will be a reoccurring right. location in my videos. <laughs> will eventually come out. I swear to God, I'm working on them. That's a lie. I'm not. <laughs> I gotta get my VHS shelf no up idea. first. I have ideas. No idea. I, ha I have ideas. Like, you know, I have hey, dreams. Hey, I mean, I've still got to work on that uh, Nerf channel I'm thinking about. I had a dream last night, or I guess this morning, because I fell back asleep this morning, because I woke up, like, just, like, really early. Um, because <laughs> I, I don't have a driver's license, I, I have a permit, like, that's, that's true to real life. And, um, in my dream, I was just driving a car for some reason, and by myself, because, you know, it's obviously, you know, illegal. Oh, we don't have a, we don't have a table to put this on. Um, and <laughs> I was getting pulled over. And, um, uh, don't spoil it, don't spoil it. Hold on, Jenny says, I guess I can focus on this. Oh, there's a Roku <laughs> remote, that's good to find. Oh, I've burned my fingers. Alright. I like how like this like episode is me and Yindy talking about things while, while Kit is. <laughs> he just in his, in his kitchen doing weird things. Making ramen is not weird, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a culture thing. Yeah, but you can find cooking in the ramen. Oh, that was good. Try it. Seriously. Try it. It's no. really good. I'm starting to try it now. It's going to be the start of a trend. Of just, we're going to eat ramen like that now. If, 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 someone, if someone popular does it now, I'm, 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 I'm going to sue them. They'll probably want because they're more powerful and might have more money. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah the, <laughs> like the YouTube probably... guy who uh, who tried to like trademark throwing a dartboard at a uh, okay. map. I have a thing to talk about YouTube after this. So in my dream, right? Okay, so I'm getting pulled over and they're like, ah, it's like the police officer is like, ah, can I see your license? And I'm like, <laughs> like so it's like, so it's really weird. So it's like the inside out characters or some, or the characters from Soul, the new Pixar movie, which I haven't seen any trailers of, blah, 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 whatever. Anyways, it was like, <laughs> They was like, they were like at this panel and they were all like flipping out. They're like, reset the dream, reset the dream, reset the dream. <laughs> and like press this like giant button that says reset. <laughs> it like went to like before I got pulled over. It's amazing. I don't know why that happened, but okay. So on Twitter, Macy's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, they're doing something for that, and they asked like, "What balloon do you want to see, Boss Baby or Red Titan?" Do you guys know know who Red Titan is? No. Nope. Who? Red Titan is the superhero persona of Ryan from Ryan's World. So, I want neither. So honestly, I, I want I, Boss Baby just it was a meme. It was a poll for Boss Baby or Red Titan. And I, I voted for Boss Baby and I quote tweeted it. I'm like, how about the one that doesn't exploit an actual child? <laughs> like, my, like, they are like, not to get this, like, this is kind of a, this is kind of a really serious thing, but like, Ryan is just too exploited for like, what is he, like eight, nine, something like that? Dude, His parents are making so much money. At the Dollar General, I live by, or, at least the one in my area I know. There's there's literally this play set of him 
It's the same off-brand Lego minifigure, just with different shirts. Sometimes <laughs> not even that, it's just the base color is different. People get mad at Baby Shark for having shows like Nick Jr. and just being, you know, overdone. Hey, at Guys, least Baby those Shark are characters. cartoons. Those are characters that were made by Baby Shark. They, Honestly, they, I don't mind they, Baby they, Shark too much. Pink Fong. Pink Fong. They're, they're the creators of them. They're not an actual child that is being exploited and being taken away from having a childhood. Yeah, that's like, the, yeah the kids were in, like, the kids are only, like, what, like that one video? I'm not sure if they're in anymore. They're, and then, and then, I think they might be, but still, they're, and then just their lyric, their singing is what's being used, not the child themselves. Going so, to, I was gonna buy the video game as a joke, but I just can't support that. No, it's 40, I, it's $40. $40? For that yeah. garbage game? That's like a... Uh, Ten dollars, I feel like, would be reasonable, honestly. But I mean, this thing isn't literally, literally the bargain bins at Walmart. <laughs> oh God, that's hot. Forty dollars. Oh, it's hot. Oh God. He has, he, he has two. He has raced with Ryan and raced with Ryan Grand Prix. There's two. Games. They're gonna be, they're gonna be in like ten years. They're gonna be the the episodes of you, like YouTubers who are like they're playing the worst Nintendo games ever. And that's like gonna be one. That's gonna be like one of the games. Or like this game exploits a child or something. Or like the dark yeah, secret like, of this game. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Even... There was like the controversy <laughs> with like the creepy face and the game files. Yeah. I, what? I, I could I could do a whole rant video on Netflix, but uh, I'm not because I don't <laughs> want I don't like Netflix. I just I, all you know all y'all need to just know is I don't like Netflix at all. Not because like video stores and look at I just, uh, okay. okay they're a genuinely bad company who treats their employees is, okay. terribly. Keep it um, PG. Just look up net net just look up Netflix controversy. <laughs> It'll probably be the first thing. A certain movie about dancers. That's all we can say. Yeah, I'm at his point. No. Well... <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna make that joke. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A little, a little too far. <laughs> a little too far for this. I think we might need to wrap this up soon. <laughs> Why? It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. Pop that... I'm, gonna make that I'm not gonna make that joke either. Um. Yeah, yeah. So, should we wrap this up? I'm, I'm having fun, honestly. This is fun. We, yeah, we, should but... energy, we should keep this energy going for a jingle all the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Well, I'm not that tough, so we can actually watch that together. Uh, tomorrow we're watching Jingle All the Way, obviously. <laughs> I thought you were going to watch Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want, I mean, I'm not going to uh. say no. No, no, we, yeah. we, need to, we need to focus on the Christmas. Alright then. I'll just envision it tonight in my dreams. Oh lord. One more thing, one more thing before we go. I don't know if this counts as PG or not, but we moved a clock off of our wall. We have a fireplace, right? And that fireplace would make a lot of smoke. And I, um, and so the smoke would come out for some reason because the chimney was dirty. We never got a chance to clean yeah. it. Um, so there's an outline of where the clock would be. It looks like a shadow or whatever. It just, I'm, I'm not gonna say what it looks like, but I'm gonna send a picture, I'm gonna put it on screen right now, of what this looks like. You can determine what this looks like, just, you know, oh wait, that's, I just sent it to Pops DM. I'm gonna send that in the group. Oh lord. So, with that out of the way, uh, tomorrow we're watching Jingle all the way. And then, after that, you know, let me get my, let me get my list, it's been folded up like 20 different times, has Sharpie all over it, just, <laughs> This, this list is so bad. Um, yeah, then all the way, and then after that, we're watching a, a movie about a red-nosed reindeer, but it's not the classic. Uh, yeah, it's the same one. Uh, well, I mean, there's... I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in so long, I barely remember it. I remember <laughs> watching the movie. Oh, it's just brutal <laughs> standing there. That's all I remember, honestly. All right. Um... Kind, rewind, Mary Commissioners, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> Any last words? I don't want to die. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs>